All right, guys, so this is just a quick YouTube video. What we're doing on the Elk Shape YouTube is we're just bringing you along the journey. If you want to dive deeper into the brand of Elk Shape, go to elkshape.com. Check out what we're all about. I can sum it up. We're just about personal development, crushing the elk hunting learning curve, leveraging elk hunting or being an elk hunter to make yourself better at life in all facets from your faith, your family, your fitness, your leadership, all that. So that's what we're all about. I want to catch you up to speed on what we've been doing this week. So this is the Vertex. Just published a video on swapping things out. Didn't explain much. So what I had was a Hamski peep that was a little bit longer cylinder, darker, 3 16 Went bear hunting with it. Probably could have killed a couple bears, but couldn't see through the peep at low light. Legal shooting light, but low light. Came back, swapped it out for a quarter inch. It's a painful video to watch because I tied this peep in with some instruction from Spokane Valley Archery, but it was fun to work. It's my first peep I've ever really tied in, and it was awesome. And then we took the rest off. It was a QAD that is custom for Matthews. It fits just up against, there's no lateral part sticking out. It fits up right back against the riser. Uh, great rest, not for me. Switched to a Hamski. This, uh, this is uh, the Trinity. And what we did is we made some ticks and some marks on, because the bow was perfectly tuned. Made some marks and ticks, threw this rest on, took a shot, bullet, this bow set. And then the other thing I did was I switched uh, arrows a little bit. So if you're wondering, well, what do you mean you switched arrows? Still a full metal jacket, 377 grains on the heavy end. And all these arrows are right around 377 or whatever. But what we did, we switched to, these are from Victory Archery, I believe. These are their lighted knocks. They're like a contender. You just push and or just pull out to turn them off. So you don't have to use a tab like Nocturnal. But uh, they're really bright, they're really cheap compared to say knock on. And so far, I think they're better. And I'm always gonna shoot you straight. And so we made the arrow a little lighter by using not so much, I mean, we still have a 50 grain brass insert in the front, cut the arrows as short as possible, 340 spine FMJ. And so basically lightened up my arrow about 20 grains. So I'm gonna have to put a new slider on here. So right now the slider is set at 20 and 75. The 20 is dead on, the 75 is actually 80. So I'm going to find the right sight tape, slap it on, and then verify my distances. And then I'm done messing with this bow. I'm gonna leave the Matthews quiver on, although I do like tight spot quivers. Um, I don't know how many inches this bar is. It's probably like something around a foot a little bit of weight up front it's got it's a Matthews specific stabilizer it's also a Matthews on the back end as well I like how this bow balanced for a 30 inch axle to axle it's shooting dynamite and that's the tweaks we made and I feel like this bow is almost ready the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot in third axis and so this little screw right here and this one right here so you have a set screw and then it's just a very micro micro adjust i'm going to shoot steep downhill shoot groups at about 60 70 yards see how my left and right is with a straight line adjust the third axis slightly and this bow will be completely ready for september i'm loving the vertex just shot a bear with it and i can't wait for august to roll around for antelope and i'm going to get that traverse set up and then i'll probably just do a shoot off and I'm gonna run a little bit different setup with the Traverse. I'm still gonna run a Hamski. I'm probably gonna run uh, a Montana Black Gold, the Pro Site, where it's gonna be a five pin slider, uh, all micro adjust everything, including gang. Uh, I'm excited for that. I also have a Spot Hog Fast Eddy, hashtag not sponsored by any of those companies, so I can pick whatever one. And right now, a Fast Eddy is on that bow and a hamski is on that bow 
Uh, I have a peep installed and a D loop installed. So the next thing we're going to do on that bow build video is get the first, second and third axis dialed. And how we're going to do that is we're just going to get a level on the string level on the rail for that first axis, a level on the string, adjust the bubble level uh, on the site. And then we will probably use a ham ski tool and do the door jam trick on the third axis. Unless I switch to that pro comp, if I have a pro comp, we'll do shooting in axes on all of it. First, second, and third with a piece of cardboard and a straight line. We'll show you how we do that. I'm learning just like you. Just want to keep you up to date on what we're doing here at Elk Shape. Thanks for subscribing. Share with your hardworking blue collar friends and uh, get ready. September's coming.